So I've had an SDR for a while. Um, I haven't really used it until like a couple nights ago. I've got it hooked up currently. I tried recording this video with some other software otherwise. But yeah, I've got my antenna all hooked up, my RTL SDR hooked up. Um, in addition to the RTL SDR, I got like a whole kit with it. So it like comes with a bunch of stuff along with it for you to... Um, do all kinds of cool things with it that I still have to explore and work with. But it's a pretty small package. And being as I was basically using the RTL SDR on my main rig, I'm like, you could do the same thing on the Steam Deck. So I was running into issues trying to record the last version of this where I was trying to use a different software that I wasn't familiar with. And I had been using Cubic SDR before. And so if you're going to use something like this, Cubic SDR, um, I didn't realize this, but the developer of Cubic SDR provided flat pack build scripts. So we're going to go through that. And yeah, it should be better than what I was trying to do before now. So this was not a better method than what I was doing before. So we're going to skip right over that most of it and go to what worked okay so cubic sdr didn't quite work out so we have gqrx sdr which um actually distributes as an app image which makes things simple on the steam deck with default steam os because obviously you can't install any of the fancy stuff when you've got it get a one terabyte sd card it'll be a lot easier to mess around with but Make sure you have it set as executable, execute it. And so when you come up, it'll come up with a thing. Um, when you first run it, it'll come up with a window that asks you like, do you wanna run this program or this one, whatever. Um, you might have to do a device scan when you plug it in, but it will pick up your um, SDR, whichever one it is. And I've already programmed it into um, some radio stations, otherwise normal radio stations, rather than like FM. So you can see that it doesn't quite work out. If I, I think I've, okay, let me mess around with it for a second. Okay, so of course how you plug it in is going to affect the quality of it. So that's kind of what happened with me, is I had it plugged in weird, and so yeah. So the way I had it plugged in kind of added a lot of interference, so just keep that in mind. You can see that I can actually go and look at the waterfall and mess with it too. So I can get plenty of local radio. Um, can I... So if I scroll around, I can actually tune it, fine-tune it. Which, having the touchpad as a scroll wheel is kind of intuitive, honestly. Upping the sensitivity in the software might help it work a bit better. But yeah. Let's see, I can filter with... We can, like I said, this one seems a bit simpler than some of the others. And obviously it takes on the Half-Life theme that we have in KDE. But yeah, if we want to, we can actually... Okay, so we can go up to, what was it, 4, 4... Give me a second... Okay, we can go all the way up here, and this is where I found... So yeah, um, this is actually one of the, oh... Police scanner ones. So it's actually taken us kind of a bit out but you can see that 
I can kind of sit here and there's we can see where the activity is on the spectrum here so yeah if you've and being as a steam deck is kind quite portable you've got a lot of options to where you don't have to take up much space using it and it doubles as you can also use it as a gaming device and as they become more prevalent they're a lot less weird most people are thinking you're going to be gaming on it and that's what they're going to assume when you could be scanning radio signals with it too but of course pulling out all this a bunch of radio equipment or even a little bit like an rtl sdr will seem kind of weird to a lot of people so if you're like ripping out a small SD sdr and popping it into your steam deck people might look at it weird but it's something cool you can do with a steam deck in desktop mode and I'm sure people have come up with all kinds of other things to do with it, too. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my, my streaming channel stuff links are all in the description places and i will see you guys later